Hello, today we're cash stuffing $925. If you're interested to see which envelopes I put this money in, stick around. Hello, it's Jennifer from the Cash Stuffing Canuck and welcome back to my channel. As I mentioned in the intro, we are going to be cash stuffing $925, which is right over here and a little bit up in here. And this money is coming from four income sources. We had my casual job, my corporate job, my husband's corporate job, and as a bonus, I got paid out of Etsy because people like you keep buying items from me and I'm so happy and so thrilled that you guys are really enjoying uh, the items that I'm selling. Uh, and a little bit later on in the video, I'll show you some new things that I have in the shop. And um, yeah, so let's get started. Oh, first things first, I do wanna give a shout out to Katie. Thank you so much for watching my last video. Um, I'll link it up here. It was my budget with me uh, for this, the first time I've done this multi payday uh, income combining. Um, she noticed that my calculator didn't do math very well that uh, video and I had miscalculated the number of 20s that I needed to pull out from the bank. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You saved me a lot of embarrassment and uh, confusion for this video because I would have had a lot of extra money. So let's get started by counting the money first. So we should have $925. So 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 740, 750, 60, 70, 80, 90, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 850, 855, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 900, 5, 9, 10, 915, and then I have four toonies and two loonies, and that will be 925. All right, so I hope everybody has had a fantastic week. Um, we've had amazing weather here in Victoria, and I'm hoping that it continues over the weekend as I'll be working this weekend. And uh, I don't want to be working in the rain because that's not fun, I work outdoors, so. And I also want to give a special shout out to my brother and sister-in-law and my nieces for picking up these beautiful flowers uh, for me on Mother's Day. Even though I'm not a mom, I am a fur mom uh, with little Toby. And I was very thoughtful of them to recognize me in that way with such beautiful flowers. So I'm putting them in the video. So we're going to get started by looking in the May spread to see what is going to be coming out of our paycheck this pay period. So as I mentioned, we're combining our paycheck, my paycheck from uh, May 15th and the two paychecks that we got today, plus the bonus Etsy paycheck. Um, so these bills are going to be covered. The tax-free savings account contributions, the cell phones, our mortgage payment, hydro, our insurance trailer, and our natural gas bill. So I am just going to switch over to the cash stuffing page here for our page a budget and I will zoom in here and as I mentioned we do have a few extra things so my husband's uh, contribution was the same at 1650 and my corporate job uh, paycheck was the same at 1890 however I was anticipating $500 for my casual job and I actually got 570 I didn't um, factor in some extra uh, overtime that I did and um, uh, an extra $5 for Etsy. And as I mentioned, before we get started, as I mentioned, I do have a few things in my Etsy shop that I just wanted to show you um, that are new. Um, I did create a um, 100 envelope challenge. I do have this in a digital form and I will be selling these as a physical copy too. And you'll get, I'll, um, you'll get an envelope with these if you buy them online. I haven't quite updated that Etsy shop uh, feature yet, but um, I will be as soon as I get the envelopes. Um, so I have here the traditional 100 envelope challenge, which is increased by one. And on here I do, uh, This is these were just my prototypes, but um, the numbers are more bolded and a little bit larger, so they're a little bit easier to read. Um, so increase by one, and at the end you'll have saved $5,050. 
The next one is going to be a roundup by five, which is perfect for us Canadians who don't have dollar bills. Um, so this one will be uh, just rounding up by five. So instead of one, you'll put five, instead of two, five. And then when you get to six, you'll put in 10, etc., all the way up to the 100th envelope. And you'll have saved a total of $5,250 at the end there. And then the last one is just like a little mini challenge for those that don't have a large budget like myself for savings challenges and that, but you still want to participate. Um, this one here, it's just five to 25. So it just goes up in five, five dollar increments up to 25 and then goes back down to five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then 20, 15, 10, and five, and then so on all the way to the end of the 100. And at the end, you'll have saved $1,515. So I thought that was fun. So this will come in a bundle. You'll get all three of these plus an envelope. These will fit in an A6 clear envelope um, or cash envelope. Um, they fit in quite nicely and uh, yeah. So I'll just put those aside. And then the other thing that I have is uh, my roll the dice, which I'm also selling as a physical copy. Um, you get five here. You get one for 150, 200, 250, 300, and then a blank one. So you can kind of make your own if you just want to roll one or a few dice, you can just uh, fill this in yourself and then see how much you have at the end. Um, and then little instructions on how to play. So I have these in these colors here, and then I also have them in um, just plain black and white. Um, the 251 is missing because I have it in my envelopes here, um, but that's what I have. And um, yeah, and I also have that in a digital uh, copy as well. And you also get the bonus one here that you can uh, play with your own numbers. All right, again, thank you so much to everybody who has purchased something from my Etsy shop. I really appreciate it. I'm quite new to this and um, I just think it's, I've, I've always loved creating things and I just think it's amazing that um, I'm able to make a little bit of money off this little hobby and uh, so thank you again. All right, so let's get back into the cash stuff in here. Um, so because I got a little bit more money for my um casual job and the Etsy payment, what I did was I readjusted how much money I'm putting to my business, how much money I'm putting towards tax and how much I'm putting towards my line of credit. So originally I was putting 75 to business. I'm now putting 85 in my tax account. I was putting 125 and now I'm going to put 140 and then my extra line of credit. I was putting 300 and now I'm going to put 345. So let's just get started in the cash stuffing process. So I'll start with my wallet because I do want to empty out some items here some change so I'm just going to move these over here and get these put these aside so I have uh, a nickel left I think I had $20 in my coffee and snacks um, in dining out I had 30 I have nothing so yeah it was a very heavy dining out a uh, couple of weeks miscellaneous I started with five dollars and I have five dollars so that is gonna go in there and I will put that in my trusty cash coin box here. And we'll just put that in here and then I'll keep track of it and take it to the bank once it gets filled up. All right, so let's start by stuffing the coffee and snacks. We're gonna put $15 in. And that'll be a 10 and a five. So I have $15 in there now. Dying out is going to get 20. I am putting a little bit less in, in my envelopes this week. Uh, I just made a mistake on that, but that's okay. I'm gonna try and challenge myself to spend a lot less for the next two weeks. So $20 in dining out. And then in miscellaneous, I will be putting $5. Um, I have received some questions about where I get uh, my wallet on some of my socials and DMs and that. And so I got this wallet out of a company out of Vancouver called The Line, um, thelineshop.ca. I'll put a link uh, down below. Um, this is their cash budgeting envelope system. So it came with the binder or yeah, this binder. And um, this one is the Safiano leather that I got with some nice little embossing here. 
And then um, they also make these envelopes for me. So I was able to have custom envelopes made um, for specific categories. So um, the envelopes that you see in my cash system with this uh, particular font are the envelopes that I purchased from the line shop. So I'll uh, have a link to all these items that I have in my budgeting system down below. This isn't a sponsored video, but it's just something that I um, enjoyed using and I really love their products and I like supporting local. So anyway, so let's just move on. Um, so I have $5 in my miscellaneous. Next, we're going to fill up our joint sinking funds. So we're going to start with the buffer. Let's see. All right. So the buffer is getting 10 and I do have some money in there already. A $10 bill. So I have $15 in the buffer. Next is bulk buys and bulk buys is going to be getting 10. And I have $5 in there already from the last time. As I mentioned, this is a new video or a new envelope. So I have $15 now in bulk buys. Dates and activities. Well, we didn't spend anything from dates and activities, so this money is going to go towards Ireland, so I'll just put that aside. And we're going to put in another $50 here. So I have $50 in dates and activities. Health is getting $5. So we have 10, 20, 25, and 30 in health. Home decor is getting 10. So now 50, 60, and 70 in home decor. Household, household is getting five. So that's 120, 45, 145. And I'll probably stop at this one at 150 because this is really just to um, have things for uh, like paper towel and cleaning supplies and things like that. Ireland is getting 225. So that is two 100s, 20 and a five. And I do have some money in there um already so we'll just count that all right so i'm using placeholders which is very exciting so we have one thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand and five thousand in the bank and then And we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 320, 325, 330, 335, and five is 340. So we have $5,340 here. $5,390, I must have miscounted. <laughs> that does happen sometimes, so. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. 1, 2, 3, 350, 370, 375, 380, 385, and 390. So yeah, that makes better sense. So we have $5,390 and I can color in another uh, little clover here. So I'll do that now. And we are more than halfway to our goal, which is super exciting. All right, I'll put this all back in. So we have $53.90. One month ahead is another new envelope and we're gonna be putting $15 in. And I have $5 in there already. So we have 10, 15, and 20. 
And our goal for this one is to be one month ahead in our bills, which I think is about $3,400. So I think I have $20 in there. Pets is getting 50. So 50, 150, 75, so 175. And that's great because Toby is going in for a groom and uh, we'll probably use most of that. <laughs> Roof is getting 50. This is another new one that I thought that we should start putting some money aside for. So, because uh, we will be needing a new roof soon and it's just a start. Um, it's not a lot of money right now, but at least I feel good about starting it. So we have $50 in the roof. Next will be my cash envelopes. So we're gonna start with my 50th birthday envelope. This is a new one for me. Um, it's my birthday in July, I'll be turning 50. So I thought I should put a little bit of money aside for that. So $10, I'll probably just use this money to get a facial or something fun. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd love to go to Vegas, but uh, that's not gonna happen. So $10 in the 50th birthday envelope. Uh, beauty, beauty is getting 10 and I have 50, 70, $80 now. Bike locker and parking is getting 10 and I'm on the fence if I want to um, actually continue having the bike locker where I work. Um, uh, I have an e-bike and I'm finding that it really doesn't fit very well in the bike lockers and it's damaging my bike. Uh, I struggle getting it in there every day and getting it out and I'm starting to scuff the pedals and the bike rack and everything like that. So um, I'm undecided if I'm going to keep it this year, but I'm going to still keep saving money um, just so that uh, I uh, have it in case I change my mind on that. But so I have $30. Birthday envelope, this is for birthdays for my family and friends. So $10 in there. Oops. Business is getting $89. So I do have some money in there already. Let's take that out. So that's getting $89, so a 50, a 70, a 10, a five, and two toonies. So we have 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 102 dollars. There we go. All right, car maintenance is getting 20. Usually I put $50 in here, but um, as I mentioned in my last video, I am also gonna be saving for tires. So I thought I'd split the normal $50 and uh, put 20 in towards car maintenance and, and the other 30 towards um, tires for now. So I have $40 in there. Actually, no, I have $120 in there. Sorry about that. Let me just grab. See, when I talk, I don't math very well. <laughs> All right. Christmas is getting five. And I do have a 50, so that's $55. Clothing is getting 15. And this one I'll probably be pulling from soon because um, my run clinic is going to be starting in next month for half marathon training and I will be using, I will be needing some new runners. And so I'll probably pull from this to um, use that along with my $130 gift card so I can buy some runners. So as I mentioned, I have 20... 30, 40, 45, and $50 in there now. And I do have some gift cards in there that I haven't used uh, for like Lululemon and that. So um, I'll just hang on to those in case I need some run gear because I'm pretty sure I will. 
Electronics is getting five. Emergency fund is getting five. So I have 55 and 60 now in there. And I can color in another raindrop. And my goal for this one is $500 as my starting. It's small, small increments, but at least I feel good knowing that I have some money in there. So I have 60 in there, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fun money. Fun money is, oops, fun money is getting five. So that's wrong too. I put the 60 already. All right, so fun money is getting five and I have $10 in there already. So now I have 15. Hobbies is getting 20. So now I have 70. And again, this is going to be, I'm going to be using this money for some of my hobbies, uh, which right now is pickleball and running. And uh, next will be personal vacation. And that is getting $50. I do have some money in here already. All right. So I have... 100, 200, 250, 255, 257, 257, 15. And then running gear, I'm going to be putting $9 in that, which is back here in personal shopping. So that be five and to toonies and this is also just supplementing some money so that I have I can buy running shoes so I every running shoe here is worth nine dollars so I'm going to color that in as nicely as I can it's not very nice but uh, there we go so I have 130 plus nine so that's 139 dollars towards running shoes at the moment Tax account is getting $140. And I do have money in there because I want to be on top of my taxes this year. I wasn't on top of them last time and I really had to buckle down and save money. <laughs> All right. All right. So we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 400, 405, 407 dollars towards my taxes next year. Almost enough money to put a $500 placeholder in there. Maybe I can do that next payday. That'll be exciting. All right, tires is getting $30. My goal for this one is about $1,500 for tires and that'll be the fall of 2025, I'm told. Uh, I, my tires, I thought I had to replace them this year, but I don't, so I'm very excited about that. All right, and last but not least is roll the dice. So I'll just uh, have this aside here and roll the dice is getting $21. Here we go. And I'm going to color in a one, a three, a five, a six, and a six. So let's just do that now. Great. 
and I don't know what I'm going to use this money for um, once I have it filled, uh, this card filled up, but probably towards my debt. <laughs> um, that'll be the smart thing to do. Or I may just put half aside and then half towards uh, something else. But um, for now, I'm just going to save the money and see if I can complete this card as fast as I can. All right. So I do have a dollar left over. Um, which I'm not surprised by because when I get to talking, I make mistakes. So my tax account looks like I forgot to put uh, a one in my tax account here. So I will just quickly pop that in. There we go. So I should have $408 in my tax account here. So I'll just fix that. Oops, that's the wrong pin. There we go. All right, so roll a dice has 21. Wonderful. Okay, so I will just take this $50 bill that we pulled out of our dates and activities and put that into Ireland because that's what we do. If we don't spend it, we put it into Ireland the next pay period. So if I go to the Ireland envelope here, I will put that $50 in there. And then update the total here so that it is 54.40 and that's it for today's cash stuffing video areas of focus that I want to work on for uh, my future uh, budget with me is, is definitely going to be my writing envelope and um because I will be paying for the run training clinic, which is happening next month and, and also needing the new shoes and kind of getting myself back into the running thing. I haven't been running for a couple of weeks or for more than a couple of weeks because I've been so busy and I'm coming off an injury. So, um, I'm going to kind of be a little bit gentle with myself, but that's what I'm going to be focusing on is just putting a little bit extra money towards the running um, so that I'm prepared for the Dublin Half Marathon in late September. Um, let me know in the comments below if you are also a long distance runner. Um, maybe we can encourage each other along uh, the way over the next few months. Um, and uh, yeah, it'd be fun to have a little running motivation uh, buddy online here. So Anyway, so that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, now's the time to do that by clicking on the subscribe button below. If you want to see more cash stuffing videos, I'll post my playlist here. Um, and uh, you can watch uh, past cash stuffing videos or budget with me videos or whatever you like um, to watch. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.